I got the moves. I got the moves. Oh, I'm making moves. You gotta move. You gotta make the city move. Like, whoa, I make the city move. I got the move. I saw this coming. I knew it. Eric Bledsoe has kind of requested a trade from Phoenix, I'm pretty sure he has. I don't know if he's making this hair salon stuff up, but the Suns look to be training him anyway. Today, I have compiled a collection of 5 teams that seem perfect for Eric Bledsoe to land. This is in no particular order. Before we begin, yes, I am trying to double up to load today. I don't know if I could do it, I hope I can. I want to let you know that my next video is going to be kind of short, maybe like 2 or 3 minutes, so don't get too excited, it's just a short but controversial video. Anyway, let's jump right into this. Number 5, the Los Angeles Clippers. The LA Clippers are a little scarce at the point guard position, as they don't really have any stars in that position. This is great for Eric Bledsoe, he can immediately take over as the starting role over Beverly and Milo is out with a foot injury so he will no doubt be the starter. Another benefit from this is that he is returning to his old team. DeAndre Jordan said in a tweet that he wants Bledsoe to come back, so this helps the situation for Eric. But is it a good one for the Clippers? In my opinion, yes, it is a good trade for the Clippers. They get a much better starting point guard and create a borderline big three that could make them better than a lot of teams like Denver and Portland. But one thing stands in their way. Austin and Doc Rivers. If a trade for Bledsoe were to go down, then the Clippers may have to trade Austin Rivers, and I'm not sure Doc Rivers is going to let the GM of the Clippers just trade away his son to another team. But I would definitely love to see Eric Bledsoe return to the Clippers and maybe help them climb the standings a bit more. Number 4, the New York Knicks. After trading Carmelo, it's time for a fresh start in the Big Apple. With Porzingis still developing as a leader, maybe it's a good thing for them to get an already talented player in their prime to help the team. But the problem is, the Knicks are in the same situation as the Suns. They are rebuilding and are probably going to tank this season. This is exactly why Eric Bledsoe wants out of Phoenix. So going here probably won't help his current frustration. But again, he can't choose where he goes, can he? So how does this benefit the Knicks and what would the trade look like? With this trade there are some benefits for the Knicks, but not a lot. They have a lot of assets to trade away and be able to get Bledsoe, but by doing this they are kind of giving up on this whole tanking process and are saying, we are trying to contend in a couple of years. The Suns reportedly want Willie Hernan Gomez and Frank Antelokina, and for the Knicks this is basically giving up on the tanking process and trying to land the next piece of the puzzle. Frank definitely has potential and they could really need him down the track. I'm still a bit iffy about this one, but it does look like a likely destination for Bledsoe at this point. Number 3, the Milwaukee Bucks. The Milwaukee Bucks are probably the perfect spot for Eric Bledsoe. This is because the Bucks are contending, they have a superstar and they are very weak at the point guard position. Yes, Brogdon is good but I still put Bledsoe over him right now, seeing as Brogdon is just coming into his second season but I still give him the minutes he deserves, just a bit less for Bledsoe. The Bucks apparently are highly motivated to acquire Bledsoe because he's a very well rounded offensive player but he's also pretty good on defense too, so that helps the Bucks keep their identity as a defensively dominant team. Overall, the situation looks perfect here in Milwaukee, so it's my tip for Bledsoe's destination right now, that is if the Bucks offer enough for him, and I think they will. Number 2, the Denver Nuggets. The Denver Nuggets are also a team with a high chance of picking up Bledsoe, simply because they have been contacting the Suns since the off season to see if they could train for him. This is good because they already have a good ground to work from, which could help the deal get done quicker. This is good for Bledsoe because again, the Nuggets aren't too deep in the point guard position and the current starting point guard, Emmanuel Moutier, is more likely than not going to end up in this trade. Let's talk about the trade details. It's probably going to end up with Emmanuel Moutier and Kenneth Fareed as well as a first round pick. Getting rid of Fareed is good because this allows for Paul Mills up to get the attention he really deserves on this team. The trade is good overall and I also see this team as a front runner for Bledsoe. Number 5, the Cleveland Cavaliers. I don't see this as a very likely destination for Bledsoe, but it could go through. The Cavs were looking to trade Kyrie to Phoenix for Bledsoe this offseason, but the trade didn't fall through. But now with d Rose injured and Isaiah Thomas out indefinitely, the Cavs could trade someone like Iman Shumpert and J.R. Smith to the Suns, as well as the Brooklyn Nets first round pick. But the problem still remains after Isaiah Thomas comes back. Who takes the starting point guard role, Isaiah Thomas or Eric Bledsoe? And that's the main reason why I don't see this trade happening, though the Cavs could still make it work somehow. But that will wrap up the video. Let me know in the comments where you think Bledsoe will land. Again, I'm trying to double upload today, but I can't promise anything. If I can't, I'll upload again tomorrow. If you are new and you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome NBA content. But with that being said, 
I am out. Peace. I've been in the hills, fucking superstars, feeling like a pop star. Drinking in bad bitches, jumping in the pool, and I ain't.